Hello students! Welcome to the video lesson intended for you, Grade 7 students. I am your teacher, Teacher April. Good morning everyone! For week 2, our topic is about algebraic expression. For our objectives for today, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to translate verbal phrase to mathematical phrase or vice versa. Letter B, illustrate algebraic expressions, constants, variables, and terms. Letter C, identify the kinds of algebraic expression according to the number of terms and its degree. For learning test number 1, you're going to give the mathematical operation corresponds to the following words. So these are the mathematical terms. And you will give the mathematical symbol or operation. For example, word sum. What operation or symbol are you going to use? Is it plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign, or division sign? You will use the plus sign. Okay? In mathematics, you cannot do away with symbols. Mathematical words problem cannot be solved unless you translate it into symbols. Symbols used for operations are called operational symbols, while symbols used to determine relation between quantities are called relational symbols. So I have here a chart of words associated to the operational symbol. For example, plus sign. So the words are plus add increase by more than the sum of the total of and added to. For minus sign, we have minus, decrease by, diminish by, the difference of, less, less than, and subtracted from. For multiplication sign, we have multiply, multiplied by, times, the product of, if there is no symbol between variables and letters, it means multiplication. For example, x, y. So, ibig sabihin nun ay x times y. Okay? Next, for division, we have divide, the quotient of, the ratio of, divided by. For exponent, we have Raised to the power of squared q to the nth power. For radical sign, we have nth roots, where n is any positive integers. Now, let us have an example. Number 1. Tries the sum of 5 and a number. So, let us represent a number as M. Or, pwede rin namang gumamit ng mga letters na nasa alphabet. The sum of 5 and a number. So, we will represent this as the quantity of 5 plus M. Why plus? Because of the word sum. Tries means three times. So, therefore, the mathematical phrase is three times the quantity of 5 plus m. Number two, subtract two-thirds of a number from 30. So, let us represent x as the number. When we say two-thirds of a number, the word of means multiply. So, we will multiply two-thirds and x and that will be two-thirds x. Take note, we use subtracted from. So, kapag subtracted from ang ginamit, you are going to interchange the position. Kung ano yung huling binanggit, siya yung una mong isusulat. So, 30 ang una mong isusulat. Okay? Minus 2 thirds x. So, parehas din siya ng less than. Kapag ginamit mo yung less than, mag-interchange ka ng position. 
Next, number three. The difference between a number and five. So, let us represent a number as x. Difference. When we say difference, that is minus. So, the mathematical phrase is x minus 5. Number 4. 5 times the sum of a number and 6. So, let us represent again a number as x. 5 times means 5 multiplied by. So, limang beses multiply yung sum ng x and 6. So, that is 5 times the quantity of x plus 6. Next, number 5. The square of the sum of a number and 2 increase by 5. So, let us represent a number as m. So, when we say square, it refers to the exponent of 2. When we say increase, that is plus. When we say sum, that is plus. So, pag sinabing the sum of, so, naka-close naka in open parenthesis siya. The quantity of m plus 2 squared increased by 5. So, that is plus 5. So, therefore, your answer is the quantity of m plus 2 squared plus 5. Now, let us translate mathematical phrase to verbal phrase. For example, 2x minus 5. So, pag sinabi natin 2x, it means twice a number. Or pwede rin namang 2 times a number. Okay? Pag sinabi naman natin minus, ano yung mga words na, na ginagamit kapag minus? So, may pwede siyang minus, decrease by, diminish by, less than, less, subtracted from, and so on and so forth. So, maraming po pwedeng sagot dito. So, the, the possible answer will be twice a number decrease by 5 or subtract 5 from twice a number. Pwede rin naman. 2 times a number decrease by 5. 2 times a number minus 5. So, maraming sagot kapag nagka-translate ka ng mathematical phrase to verbal phrase. Basta, ginagamit mo yung tamang words para sa operation. Okay? What do we mean by algebraic expression? So, an algebraic expression can be a number or constant, a single letter or variable, or a combination of letters, numbers, and operational symbol. For example, 3 is a constant. M is a variable or combination of numbers and letters. For example, negative 5x or negative 5 times x. 3y or 3 times y. 7xy or 3 times x times y. Take note that your x here is no longer a multiplication symbol. It is used now as variable. So, these are an algebraic expression with one term. So, what do we mean by a term? A term is a number, a variable, or a product, or a quotient of numbers and variables. It is separated by plus or minus sign. For example, sa letter B, 4x squared minus 8xy. So, we already have two terms because it is separated by minus sign. Next, xy plus 5 is also a two term because it is separated by plus sign. So, these are example of an algebraic expression consists of two terms. Now, let us name the algebraic expression according to the number of terms. If an algebraic expression consists of only one term, it is monomial. Mono means one. If an algebraic expression consists of two terms, that is binomial. Bi means two. 
if an algebraic expression consists of three terms, that is trinomial. Tri means three. If an algebraic expression consists of three or more terms, it is multinomial or polynomial. Multi or poly means many. Now, let us identify the kinds of algebraic expression according to the number of terms. Let's say 3m minus 9. So, how many terms do we have? We have 1 and 2. And it is separated by minus sign. So, we have two terms and that is binomial. How about x squared plus 20y minus 5? How many terms do we have? We have 1, 2, 3 separated by plus or minus sign. So, therefore, it is trinomial. Consists of three terms. Next, a plus 2b plus 5c minus y squared. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, consists of four terms. More than three terms, so this is multinomial or polynomial. Okay? So, remember, the constants are numbers that have fixed value. So, hindi na siya po pwedeng palitan. The variables are the letters which represent a number. So, it may take one or more than one value. So, napapalitan ito ng kahit anong numbers. Okay. When we say degree of an algebraic expression, it is the highest exponent of an expression with one variable. For example, 2x plus 5. So, we use only one variable and that is x. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, wala kayong nakikitang exponent. Pero, ito ay nangangahulugan na ang exponent niya is 1. Okay? So, it is in the first degree. Next, negative 4m cubed plus 7m minus m to the fourth. So, again, we use only one variable and that is m. For the first term, we have 3 as the exponent. For the second term, we have 1. For the third term, we have the exponent of 4. So, what is the highest exponent in the expression? That is 4. So, therefore, it is in the 4th degree. Next, if there are 2 or more variables, you are going to get the highest sum of the exponent. For example, 2x to the 4th y cubed plus 9xy minus 12x to the 5th y. We have 2 variables. So, you will get the highest sum. So, i-add mo lang siya. I-add mo lang ang exponent. We have 4 plus 3 is 7. And for the second term, we have 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then, on the third term, we have 5 plus 1 that is 6. So, what is the highest sum? The highest sum is 7. So, therefore, it is in the 7th degree. So, if the degree is 0, it is said to be constant. So, num pag number lang siya, constant siya. If the degree is 1, it is said to be linear. If the highest exponent is 2, then it is quadratic. If the highest exponent is 3, then it is cubic. Okay? For learning task 2, you're going to match the verbal phrase with the correct mathematical phrase. So, you will write your answers on your paper. Take note, answers only. For letter B, we're going to identify the kinds of algebraic expression, whether it is monomial, binomial, trinomial, or multinomial. 
Next is to identify the variables. So, tingnan niyo mabuti kung anong variables ang ginamit. Kung ginamit ay isang variable, isa lang ang isusulat. Kung ang ginamit ay maraming variables or letters, isusulat mo lahat ng letters. Next is the degree of polynomial. So, titingnan ninyo kung ano yung highest exponent and that will be the degree. Titingnan ang highest sum, that will be your degree. Next, for the constant, meaning it is a number. So, kung anong numbers ang ginamit for each term, isusulat mo siya. Okay? So, good luck for your learning test. So, sana may natunan muli sa discussion natin sa araw na ito. Thank you for watching. Always remember, study with love, study with all your heart. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Stay safe. God bless.